All right, so as far as this circuit layout, uh, I guess it's a little hard to show, but kind of see how it's set up. So basically, drew a little kind of a uh, BS picture here. This is basically how the copper board is etched out, right? So I'm not even using the back side, the underside. I'm just using one side of uh, this board. And uh, that's just how I'm doing it, right? So I've got positive is going to be right here, the negative. And I'm just jumping over, you know, my resistors, capacitors, and whatnot. You know, so this is where I would be adding my external gate resistance. And then, um, you know, likewise, my um, RF choke is jumping over here to the drain. Likewise, that's coming off to the uh, primary coil. Then, you see likewise down here, this is jumping over to the capacitor and then to the primary. So, I thought about drawing all the extra crap in here, but it's like, I'm just not going to do that, right? I mean, you just get a clear image of how it's laid out. This is probably not the best way to do it. This is just how I sort of freestyled this one. So I'm just showing how it's actually laid out. This particular one, that's how it's laid out, right? One of those guys, right? One K resistors, ten K pot. These are actually 470 picofarads stacked together with a couple 1 nanofarads. So IRFP 260M. Alright, and with this one I've just thrown a fan on the bottom. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, again, just showing that that's how this one is laid out. Couple turns, and now uh, boom. Now again... You know, this is uh, over 15 megahertz, right? Like, the exact specific layout of all of this, you know, and imagine that's what's going to matter. I could say this is a pretty similar build to the last one I just made. You know, same MOSFET, sort of similar layout. You know, this one's actually using a much crappier proto board, right? So, not even using uh, etched out copper. A lot of the values are the same but slightly different right you can't say you know oh use the uh, you know the same exact components uh you know throw a similar circuit together it's going to act exactly the same you know it's only really going to do that technically if you build it to be identical within um you know very low tolerances so anyway this circuit was one i think i showed this before where i ran a uh, plasma flame off 12 volts had a much smaller primary, so you know I opened it up uh, just to uh, you know make it easier to make the toroid right. And the thing about it is, you know, this is a fairly powerful circuit. Uh, puts out some pretty good power at about 12, 15 volts. So I thought, all right, well let me try to pump some more juice in this donut. Uh, but I'll say that's probably not a good idea. Like I feel like when I start pushing 50 watts or more, then um, it doesn't take long for me. I, I feel like I start hearing a little crackling in this glass here because it's getting super duper hot. Way hotter than, uh, you know, running the, let's just say, 35, 40, maybe, you know, random uh, bits of 50 watts on this one. So this one, I'm just running it at about uh, 15. I don't want to run it much higher than that because, uh, you know, again, but not a good deal of power. Oops, had the wrong wires hooked up. So anyway, we got this going at 15. I'm gonna uh, get it oscillating. So there it goes. So again, 15, pulling almost five amps here. I'm near 70 watts. This thing can pull a pretty wicked high dark but anyway you know that's how this thing runs and you get that going and of course I need to wash the dang bulb and then uh, cut the lights back down 15 volts 
Keep it going. So, you know, this is pushing 50 watts, uh, but I can deal with about the 15. Yeah, you can see, you know, that does the same same thing, just kind of wobbles back and forth. Yeah. Then also, if I start lifting it up like this, see eventually what it does is, is it uh, kind of concentrates down toward the bottom there. And then it gets that glass super hot in that one spot. Alright. And this one actually, I haven't quite been able to get this one uh, keeps like flick started, you know. Whoops. My freaking uh, Tesla coil primary was all uh, out of whack but yeah anyway so again you know that's how that's how this one runs so I can't adjust the bias around too much on this one or it does pretty much immediately go out um, let me see if I try to whoops I'll bring the voltage down some. Well, I'll have to cut it back up. I don't know if it's going to start. This barely starts. So, you know, that's 13. You know, it doesn't drop the current a whole lot, but it does bring it a little below 50 sometimes. Um, so, yeah. Again, you know, that's probably much easier to go out. You know, I might be able to crank the bias up a little bit. So, yeah. It's not super easy to go out, but... Definitely did. But, you know, you can maintain stable uh, donut at that voltage. And also, um, you know, I'll just put this fan on there, 24 volt fan, so you know, blows just a little bit of air, but that'll uh, make it so I could run it for long periods. But again, problem there is, you know, how do you keep the glass from getting super hot? And right now, it is very hot. So actually, so it's already this glass is already so hot that it's almost borderline too hot to touch. Yeah, so like, ooh. Just the very bottom of it right there sort of burned the crap out of my pinky just touching it, right? So I didn't have that problem running it on this circuit because I was just was considerably less current in that donut, I would imagine. Whereas this one's just pumping a lot more juice. You know, can't say there's really any benefit to that. <clears throat> you know, it looks the same, acts the same. I mean, what's the difference, right? So there's really no point in trying to pump a lot of juice. Uh, so I definitely pr prefer this circuit. So, you know, again, while this works, you know, that's about as long as I can run it before I start worrying about this bulb. You know, this thing's so uh, thick, technically speaking, I could probably get it hot enough to where you know, I could burn the crap out of myself just barely touching it. But I'd rather not do that because then I'm going to accidentally pick it up and then burn myself and drop it. So, you know, again... 50 watts plus just doesn't seem worth it. You know, 30, 35, uh, you know, it's about right.